Hi guys, working out in the garden today and we are grilling steak tonight. So I thought I would pull up some of my horseradish and make homemade horseradish for you guys. So if you didn't know it, um, horseradish is a perennial. Um, you find the roots in the grocery store. Those roots, um, you know, if you get a farmer's market, you can put right in the ground and they'll come back year after year. It's sort of an evasive um, perennial. They get, they can get to be about this tall. Um, so the bigger leaf, the bigger the root. But today we are going to just pull one up and then I'm going to show you how to make your own horseradish sauce. Okay guys, so, so here up. is a little horseradish plant. Um, this is a pretty small one. I think I divided this one um, maybe earlier this spring or last summer. So we're just going to we're just going to dig around it, um, and this basically has some strawberries mixed in, but so gonna, let's do it. And as soon as, you, as soon as you step on it, I can feel the root down there, so you're pretty much going to break it. And this one, yep, see this one's a baby. So I can get it pulled up. a baby root right here. So we're going to go and try to find um, a few more pieces that are a little bit bigger. Again, I just heard it snap. And this is even a bigger root. So we're going to pull one more up and we're going to go. Hi guys, so this is a good example of how big these things can get. This is um, probably about three feet, so from ground up. Um, so this would have a really big root. Um, but I just wanted to pull up some little ones and then this, at the end of the season, I will can a ton of horseradish. So. Alright guys, cool. so we went out in the garden today and we dug up um, some horseradish roots. So again, this is the horseradish leaf. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to make some horseradish for tonight. We're going to have steaks. So we just want to make a little batch of fresh horseradish. So, okay, so we're going to cut the that. ends off of these. And this is your, this is how it, it moves in the ground. So you have this like this and then if it stays for a couple years, you're going to get nice big tubers right there. So we're just going to cut those off. And it's pretty hard. And then from there, we are going to just grate it. So just use or peel it. Just use a peeler, and this is strong. Um, it's a different kind of strong than an onion. All right, so I have it all peeled and washed. Now I'm just going to cut it into um, smaller pieces because this is going to go right into the food processor. So I want it to be small enough not to break my food processor because this stuff is pretty hard. Alright, so we have it all chopped up. Now let's move it to the food processor. Okay guys, so I just um, put the horseradish through the blender. That amount of the chopper at that makes, isn't this a cute little centerpiece? So I put this in the middle when we're having our steak um, and it's just the right amount for just a small nice steak. Alright you guys, so that is my tutorial on how you make homemade fresh horseradish. Again, I have horseradish growing in my garden so I just went out and dug some up, a bunch of little roots peeled it, 
um, sliced it in little pieces. Isn't this cute? Um, so we'll put that out and this is something you can just take um, the fresh horseradish and you can mix this with a little mayo, you can mix it with a little mayo and a little chipotle, kind of let um, you know your ideas. And then tomorrow what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my recipe for horseradish pickles. So that's cool. So subscribe up top, that would be really cool. If you could visit April's Lifestyle and Cooking Show, take a look around the site, um, I'd really appreciate it. And maybe subscribe to um, our email. So thank you.